It reminds me of Brazil a lot, minus much, the violence. But minus the violence. <laughs> Go. We have Felipe Mauricio against Keenan Cornelius. Keenan had an outstanding performance yesterday. Yeah, man, he flew, uh, and um, he's always very relaxed, che he's very just, confident. Yeah, yeah, very smart. And he goes for this classic. He got two points. Oh, two points, Felipe. And yesterday he had uh, Muhammad at least foot wrapped in the lapel. It was very interesting what he was doing. He was, he was I, doing something different. Like he was wrapping his opponent's foot with a lapel, not just a lasso with a lapel, which is typical, right? Yeah. And um, how was the score? Because I missed the fight. I think it was 10 to 2 from memory. 10 to 2. Wow. Yeah. Dominance. King is like, I had that lapel, okay, I'm not letting it go. <laughs> yeah, he's really got it down with science. You know, he, he it, it's a very difficult game to deal with because I think the main problem is not a lot of people play that game well in the gym. Everyone tries it, but it's difficult to mimic when, yeah. you know, it's not like you're playing a half guard or a closed guard. Every gym's got at least one good person with a half guard or closed guard, right? Yeah. When you talk about the lapel game, not necessarily. It's, yeah, yeah it's, it's hard to find someone that's very skilled there, so it's difficult to prepare. Yeah, lapel is a, is a big part of my game, you know. Um, since the fight against Rodolfo and uh, Neto Morris, I was doing a lot of games, and I, I didn't want to expose because I knew it until I mastered it, until... But once you put out there, people just grab the concept and just make it better and better. Man. And, um, Kina is one of the guys that made, made it in a different level. There's wrapping a pair with the warm guard and stuff. But the and more you're afraid of it, the and less. The sweep. Let's see if he can come up there. And Felipe Bizarro. Bizarro is means beetle in Portuguese. That's his nickname. They're doing a really good job shutting Keenan off. Keep in mind, Felipe is winning this fight. Let's see if he can stay active and keep the lead. Difficult thing to do. Keenan is very... Uh, dangerous with that lapel. He's got all sorts of tricks from there, so plenty of time to go. Yeah, I mean, Felipe is doing the, the, the right thing there. You know, he's dealing well with the reactions and actions. Uh, I, I think, like, Keenan lost a, a couple opportunities that he could capitalize on the sweep. Um, can you see that because Felipe is not doing pressure pass, it's difficult to do the lapel. And Philippe has very short legs, which is easy to un unwrap the, the, the lapel. All the big names on the warm-up area, you know, kicking in. Adam getting ready to fight on the mat number eight, Adam Vajinski. Adam Vajinski, best butterfly in the business, man. Man, he's, he's on fire. I saw him fighting the, the Grand Slam last week. His pressure, control, became in a different level now. And seven minutes and 30 seconds left. He was having a hard time finding his lapel game with uh, uh, Felipe. Felipe's doing a really good job, you know, just keeping the pressure there. Not really. Keenan's been unable to get his opponent off balance, but that's what Felipe wants to avoid. It's that right there. He's yes. allowing Keenan to wrap him up. Yeah. He's got to back out. I think when he's back like that, that's when he does best. Yeah. The more you want to go forward when it is the worse it is. Worse it is. Yes. Especially because he's winning this fight, right? So he doesn't have to take any chances moving forward. It's Keenan that's got to open up and, you know, try something different. Because the lapel bar to me is, 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 it can be used offensively, but I think it is a very, it, it is more efficient as a defensive guard because it moves the cloth, the fabric, more than it moves the opponent's body, Correct. right? Whereas if you have like a lasso on the arm, when you move the lasso, you move his entire body exactly. because of the attachment to your opponent's upper upper weight. Right? That's why I use a little bit of the Galaxy in concept more when I have the lapel, which is more as a biceps, uh, foot on the biceps. But yes. I use the foot on the shoulder and wrap around there. So whatever I push the lapel, the, the shoulders will push. So All I right. can manipulate better the opponent, you know? But uh, the thing is, lapel guard, is against pressure pass. Yes. If you're not willing to press the pass, no longer work. So 
that's the catch. And then uh, when you are, uh, if you are winning, like Felipe is now, he's not gonna go fight head to head against the lapel. Right? And this is where Keenan's most dangerous. Like if, if he starts getting underneath you, wrapping you up there, this is what Felipe Bizarro wants it's going to, to be, avoid. That's a good position here for Keenan. Going for the knee bar, then going to probably end up on the 50-50 at some point. But that might not be a bad place for Felipe to be, so long as he doesn't let Keenan up. Yeah, that may work in his favor. He needs to get the collar, the bottom collar, to avoid the, the back take. Yeah, that's the thing. And yeah, Keenan transition here. He's got a lot of different uh, options from the lapel. And that's what I like about Keenan's game. It's like he's not a one-trick pony. I got two lapel sweeps. I feel that he's got more stuff in his sleeve than we have seen. Like, we haven't even seen everything he can do with that lapel, exactly. right? That's what's interesting to me is there are layers to his game there that we haven't seen yet. But I will say this. Felipe he's is doing a, good a really now. good job neutralizing him. He's got a good position for the sweep. Yeah, he's got something there. Let's see if he can come up. There we go. That's going to be a suit for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's hard to stop that one. This is going to give the back. Beautiful sweep by Keenan. And it's exactly what we were saying there, Braulio. It's two. I'm not sure I would have given two there, though. Still up. I, I think it's really the... Uh, now definitely two. And maybe a mount. Four. Yeah. <laughs> But, I, you know, I, I thought there was a little, a little too, too soon. soon. Yeah. yeah, it could have been given. Because I always bit. thought the criteria was control. Hip on the floor. Yeah, you hit on the floor and control, not yet, you know. And while the guy that's being swept, the opponent's being swept, is still fighting, you know, the ref is normally waiting. Exactly. But so Keenan turns his fight around 6-2, to two, and now the Zoro's the one in trouble. Still four and a half minutes, you know. What's going to happen here now? Philippe is going to have to get out of the mound. You know, uh, Kina has the lead. He's very tight at the moment. The way that he's playing the game, I'll give him an inch. It's going to be a big to take the, the back the possibility down you know? It goes to show how dependent on the legs the lapel is to be really offensive. You can see the Keenan once when Felipe was backing out, Keenan was having a really hard time getting him off balance. It was only when Keenan got underneath his legs that he was able to get his opponent off balance. Right? Look at so, the flash, he's really defending that like I said, he's gonna probably try to get the back. Oh defense. Well, I've got to that. Good. Short legs and Felipe just put the knees anywhere. I, I'm leaning towards shorter legs being better than longer legs these days. Oh. Zora lost control there halfway through the sweep. Keenan, obviously the favorite in this fight. But I feel Philippe's been doing a really good job. Four minutes, and what's going to be the, the strategy here? For Felipe Keenan with the lead. He's probably going to pull. And yeah. Smart move by Keenan there. Waited for. Yeah, I'm not sure that was. I'm not sure that was two. I think it was uh, precipitated as well. And then, to be honest, it was very similar in the, the, the beginning of the, the beginning. match. The beginning. I thought the beginning was more of a, like, it was a bigger threat than the second. The second one definitely was. I would like to ask the first one again. And I'm like 50-50 on the first one, but this second one, I'm, I'm, I'm not with it. Just over three minutes left. Keenan is up by two points. You know what I'd like to see is if you can get to uh, Keenan's half guard. Like, not a lot of people. Like, back in the day, that's how you dealt with an open guard game. My key strategy has always been try to get the half guard. Get chest to chest so your opponent can play his open guard, right? If I can get close, I neutralize your open guard game. Correct. But it's not something, that, in the heavier divisions, that tends to work better because the legs are longer, it's harder for people to recover. Uh, but you don't see a lot, of, that's not, people aren't getting there a lot. And I wonder if they're unable to, if they're just not trying. Because like my default setting is always try to get Baja pass against an open guard player, like we were talking about earlier, over under. 
or chest to chest and half guard like right away like like pressure style like Marcelo Garcia style if I can get with that underhook and my head right next to yours I'm good to go but in that combat stance it's such a difficult thing to pass uh, an efficient De La Hiva or an efficient spider guard or in this case Keenan's lapel guard yeah I mean <clears throat> I love I love dealing with the lapel now I love passing lapel guard because um, if you know how to undo the knots, when the person, as they're not controlling my limbs, when I do the knots and I contact theirs, they start with just the lapel to hold by the lapel until the end. That's why I was, I, I, I know that because I also train a lot doing the lapel. So I know what the, this thing, when you master the bottom, you figure out the top. Yes. And uh, Jacob uh, Zykowski, which is my black belt, man, he, all he does is like, He's the, the I, we used to call him Keenan, you know, so it was a good, good having him in that You showed me a pass on the lapel that I still use. Yeah. From the stacking when he has lapel against Gerard, he's training with Gerard a lot. Yeah, he yeah. would do that position, show me this is what you do. You show me with a reverse grip on the collar. Correct. And you sprawl on the north side. It's difficult to describe. I'm doing a horrible job describing the position, but it's very efficient. But so probably you've got some tricks. We need to go maybe on live and yes. show some things on the, on the, on the break. I think we've talked about doing that before. We should probably do it one of these days. And bring my gear next time. Yeah. Uh, we should, man. We can get here early. Problem is getting Mr. Brother's team out of bed before 9 a.m. <laughs> Less than a minute left. Felipe is doing a good job. I think he's doing really well, but he just doesn't have an answer for Phil uh, Akinan's uh, open guard, he, lapel guard. He has an answer to stop, but not to... Advance. Yeah. Okay. Because I really think lapel guard is even more efficient defensively yeah. than it is offensively. Yes, it is. The second position here by, by Keenan trying to invert to the 50 50 with the lapel, getting advantage. Uh, Philippe getting advantage, making Keenan move. This is Philippe's chance. Yeah, he just wraps up on that leg so easily. Ten seconds, and it's always the left leg. Make sure to give Philippe Anderson instruction for the open on that. <laughs> After this match, we're still having Toro versus Patrick Gaudio. It's going to be a massive, massive scrap. They both I was, added. I will say, Trovo has improved a lot. No, impressive. Since the last time I've seen him, like, he, he's like a whole new guy. I normally would have Gaudio as a favorite here. I'm not so sure because Trovo's performance yesterday was he submitted three up in lost to the uh, lost Andrea. Very the close. He actually the almost had Felipe in an armbar. Felipe so yeah. barely got out. And then, you know, Felipe ended up catching him you know, but with a footlock. But uh, Trovo impressed. Even Felipe was like, man, this kid, like, he's gotten way better. Yeah. You know, so it, it should be exciting to see Trovo and Gaudio. Here we go. Keenan advancing to the next stage. At the weight category. 